ahoe ya wra kusem. Uhu adi ya. E ya forklift ya. Atam ni pe ugum. Edu wa muku ya. Mi pacho. Enye good. Enye etu. Hweni yipa. Mi pacho hweni yipa. Adi ya na etu adi yibi. Edi yiko. Mi pacho. Aha. A e tamano. Aha. Mi pacho. Enye gala msi. Ana. Oma kwenye agudie. Edi ya mwa oma igana. Enye sanete. Ma mi bi. A wo kwa kujane nai. Ana jo. Se be bi a wuti na uja na na eno. Ome tu galamse afa e ye tolet na si nina. Tu wati suwa uo o che mwono. Oye. E na se na si yo si ye eno. Na e mwodu. Inti e ma ni na eno e si e ye tolet na ya ane eno sono. A oye. E ni bu no. E ni wura tolet na si. Inti uhu adie ya atam e kwa. E nye god ane e tu. E ni pa. Ana e oku jane nae. Na bebi ya oku jane nae no. Galamse e di dia sa asina si nina. Ama akatole tina oku tusuwa oku chemo no. Inti wotje. Na e ni bu no. E ni ula e ya adie ni. Muhyad story ni ye. Video shows final moments. When an excavator dug out the remains of Gifty Manka 26, who close friends say was pregnant. Her death tells a tragic tale of the dangerous impact of mining in residential facilities at Udumase in the Asantiachim Central Municipality. So imagine waking up in the morning and deciding to visit the nature's call. What is supposed to be a natural activity turns out to be your death. This is what happened here today at Odumase in the Asantiachim Central Municipality. The lady in question, a young woman who lives in this house, was attending to nature's call. The entire structure in which she was doing her business, collapsed in a heap. Well, there, when... Some much study, a young news, a wild blue chain, a effort. Now, let's listen to the headlines. U.S. has ordered the army to visit the neighboring countries, and they've, they've decided to issue a nuclear weapon, and then the word, with the Utiya blue chain, Israel and Palestine are fighting. When the bombs comes, they send a drone. It catches the bomb. Oh, it's a brutal news now. Oh, but it's near the end now. Oh, but basically because we are going to now, now it's the end. We are all just now. No, a while now, say as as now, see now, yeah, yeah, galam see. What is now all just now? Now, oh yeah, eh, any boo no. And the question is, until what the news is, we are brutal in Ghana. They are the obedient media to turn down into what is supposed to be a mining pit. Now, if you look around this area, there are lots of these pits within these houses at Udumase actively mining. And this is what caused the death of a lady here. Where I'm standing right now, just uh, close to me, inside here, you could see another pit inside this house. And it goes deep down and that is what the indigents here this is how they do their illegal mining the entire residential toilet Maya Galam says, once you must have the toilet no be a son of Park washing the tonson. Much more to Galam say what toilet nothing may bunuk mukunu. A year we are sebe pine. Gents here, this is how they do their illegal mining. The entire residential toilet sank into the deep pit beneath the building as recounted by a resident. Yeah, it's a, it's a result of the Galam say, it's not about the toilet. And we have to speak the truth and we need to stop it. And we have to come as together as a nation to stop this Galamse madness. But we cannot allow this Galamse to go on in our houses. You know, you know this lady who died this morning, she's not beneficiary of, of the mining, but she has died. 
this morning because of somebody being a beneficiary of that mining. The sprawling Odumase Apibwasa community is dotted with underground pits dug in homes linking each other in what could be described as a hanging town. What does it? Asasina Sinina, a crone at the Honing in Odumasin, a crone in Yano. Asasina Sinina, machine and number one yas and get to all. You're two assassin Sinina. You're two assassin Sinina. In Tida, be be better messes, the earthquake be the best use, earthquake that a seer, O Munin will be a dead, O Munina. Because Asasina Sinina, ye did. In two old Tihua, O hang ho, and yes, I would to crumo, O hang a sorrow. The practice of mining inside houses, which dates years back, is getting worse. The impact of continuous digging beneath houses could be seen in the huge cracks and the sinking earth around buildings in the town. To the ordinary eye, this is a normal residential compound house. But inside it, we found deep pits laced with wooden steps that go several meters down. We were shown a number of such houses at Udumase. Residents are angry. No one am in information. We be friends, sir. We feel when they say that we are paying for beer day. At the toilet, to show us a key. Oh, what is it? Say, Kronan Kasa. At the party, for us, it's a fear. And I had you want to know a few better be the Marco house to house. I am moved to be. I am moved to be. I have you before I could mention. A fear, Bruno was who I went on in a scanny. God will not send one. I'm not going to cry. I dare around because my children will feel bad. Twenty thirty, you to go to because the case has not yet Police sources say they've heard of the pits and mining in residential facilities, but cannot barge into private homes without a warrant. This you see here, this gate, does not lead to any storeroom in any building. This, if you peep through leads to an illegal mining site under this building. There is a pit in here, barricaded with wood, which goes deep down. And that's the kind of illegal mining people here do at Odumase in the city. <laughs> If you know Munu, over son of Pano, down Paswa, but you answer as Cabita and Maceta. O Munina be O Munina, Missy, I dag that dark a cabetted. O Munina be because baby would not know what in his arch then. Say you a galam say site to where pit to pay a capita with them down go for Munim Galam Saint Yasi. Galam say site pit pit to who would them. Elidit will be fee, will be dinner so a diagro, not seeing in a galam sing one. Tatas, it did the essence, oh, do massy. I'll host a ma, a seal honso, and no. 